Welcome to this very quick overview of DriveWorks Express. Here we're going to show you how you can fill out a form in DriveWorks Express to quickly and easily create variations of a product. Here we have a mobile gantry crane. The sort of things we're going to change every time we create a new one of these are things like the height, the overlap of the elements of the leg, things like the structural opening width that will affect the length of the beam. And also we're going to drive things like the height of the beam. We actually might not want to type in the actual height, but instead we might want to be able to enter the value for the safe working load that we might want to base it on. And that in turn will drive not just the safe working load plate, but also the height of the beam. And then, based on certain other criteria, that might determine the behaviour of the diagonal, the internal support, in other words, to have it there or not. So, let's just launch DriveWorks Express, which is inside SolidWorks 2008, and then let's have a bit of fun. Which means we fill out a form and hit Next. And we create some models and some drawings. So we're entering information here, such as project number and customer name. And this is all information that might go through onto drawing borders, so that we don't have to do that work. We've selected from a drop-down a safe working load of 500 kilograms. We've gone for an opening width that can be any value we want between two upper and lower values, and we have picked a height too. And when we hit next, we sit back and we watch DriveWorks Express do its thing, which is to create new files based on the original files and the form that we have filled in. Obviously, there are some rules in the background, and we can talk about those in more detail later on. But as well as creating new parts and assemblies, you can see DriveWorks Express creating a new drawing there. The new assembly is finished and we've updated a top level drawing and populated the drawing border. And there you have it. Probably created a lot faster than I can talk it through. Oh, and there's a report at the end on the screen telling us that yes, absolutely, everything was fantastic. There were no issues found. But because that was so quick, let's do another one. We've changed the project number. We're going for a different safe working load. Let's go for a much wider one now, just to see some of the variation, and we'll go for a tall one this time. We'll hit next again, and again we'll get a report telling us exactly, step by step, what DriveWorks Express is doing. It's creating a new leg assembly there, a new leg part with all the weldments. As well as doing the weldments, it's done the cutting list for us. It's doing a new beam. It's changed the faceplate of the beam to be our safe working load. And it's changed the length and it's filled out the drawing borders. It's now creating the top level assembly again. You can see it's much taller than we had before. We have a brand new drawing, each of the components in the top level assembly. And again, we have a full report telling us every single step that DriveWorks Express took in creating that. And again, I've still not time, had time to tell you everything I wanted, so let's run a third one. This time we're going for 1,500 kilograms, quite a heavy load. Let's make it really wide. We're going for a specific size there. The opening height we've decided on is in increments of 50 millimetres. Again, we click Next, and DriveWorks Express creates another tall one, which is slightly different from the last one because of the size, but that is what we wanted. Again, we have our drawing with our cutting list and our manufacturing information and the balloons again, bearing in mind that without DriveWorks Express, all of these operations would have had to have been created manually. We have our drawing again of our brand new beam to go on the top. It's updated the assembly as well as updating the final thing. And here we have the drawing with all the annotations on exactly as we wanted them. So, there we are. We've actually created three brand new mobile gantry cranes, quicker than speed of thought. So let's just cascade those and have a look as a reminder of the differences. So we can look at the original one plus the three new ones, and we can see all the differences based on rules that we've put into DriveWorks Express. We can see all the different safe working loads and the inner diagonals suppressed or unsuppressed. And there you have it, a quick whistle-stop tour. Maybe you could use it to create variations of your products too. Thank you.